This is a Windows Phone 7 game review of Mush, which is available in the marketplace for $2.99 and is an Xbox Live game title. So in this game, you use some accelerometer controls to navigate your character around a little world and collect point bubbles, basically. So it does have some nice music, but it gets really repetitive because every set of three levels has the exact same soundtrack and it's only like three minutes long and it keeps on repeating and it does become kind of frustrating but anyways the visual design is really nice it's definitely copied uh, the visual design of Loco Roco very similar to that but the gameplay in my opinion is severely lacking the pacing is really slow the controls become really frustrating, so how you control this game is you actually, to float the character, you draw a smiley face and he'll float up, and then to make him sink you draw a sad face, and to make him go back to normal you just draw a line. And later on you can also do things like if you tilt your phone the other way, it goes into a confused state and he floats upside down, the whole world flips upside down actually. So there is some variation there, and at the last level you shake your phone, and it turns into angry mode, and you can blast through some boxes, but honestly the smiley face and sad face just become really frustrating. Like the first time you do that you're like, oh that's cool, you draw a smiley face. And then the 200th time you do it you're like, oh you draw a smiley face. This is really annoying, I'd rather just have a button there because it would make it so much easier. So, yeah, those little touch control gimmicks really aren't that great for an actual game. They're cool for the very first time, but that's about it. And so what you do is you collect those little orbs, and you have to be in the right state to collect them. And I guess I already played this level, so it actually keeps what you already collected before and doesn't show you them again. And there's underwater, as you can see, and out in land here, and sometimes you have to float. But one really huge problem about this game is there's no risk of dying and nothing is actually challenging in it at all. You could sit here high as a rock and you'd never die. I don't get what the point of this is. Why is that even there? Anyways, that's about the whole game and that's really all you do. And the soundtrack just repeated there. And we get to listen to the same thing over and over again. And there you see it keeps track of how many you collect there and there's really not more to this game the levels are all quite similar there's sometimes where you have to push a little ball onto a switch so that it weighs it down and that's about it there's no real logic to the game at all no real puzzle solving nothing really engaging nothing challenging overall it's just really boring and honestly a waste of time so I'm honestly surprised there are people who like this because there's really not much to this game at all and there's a lot better games and it honestly makes me want to go play Little Big Planet because that game's really fun and similar to this where you have to go collect things has a nice cute little artsy design but that game's actually fun because you can die in it and there's challenges in it and each level is quite unique and a lot more skill involved to it. This you can do one handed other than the silly little drawing thing and you can just fly your way through it without even really thinking. And once again there it's supposed to be something that hurts me. It's vibrating my phone and making him go eh 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 eh. But it doesn't actually do anything to me so what's the point of this game? It's not challenging. Another problem is the lasting value is very weak. It's only about an hour and a half to complete all levels. There's only 12 levels total and some of them take just like five minutes to complete so really bad lasting value. So overall some people somehow like this game but honestly I would stay away from Mush. Nevertheless it's in the marketplace for $2.99.